Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a real pleasure to be here today in Loughborough that voted 54% to leave. Hooray! Yet, your disgraceful Member of Parliament is standing against the will of the majority of this constituency and she should hang her head in shame. Hooray! This country voted to leave the European Union. It voted by a majority. Yet in the country now, there are powerful forces at work seeking to undermine and overturn the referendum result, which was the biggest expression of democracy in this country's history. Will we let them overturn it? Oh. I think we need to send a clear message today from here in Loughborough, across the country to Westminster. If you dare seek to defy the will of the people, you will rue the day. And we will not allow all those powerful vested interests, corporations, the CBI, international business, tax-dodging conglomerates to tell the people they were wrong. We were right and they were wrong. They told us that if we vote to leave, we'd be at war. They told us if we leave, no country would trade with us. They're queuing up to trade with us. Australia, New Zealand, the old Commonwealth and our friends and allies around the world are queuing up to trade with the United Kingdom. And if we stay in a customs union, we will not be able to enter our own trading relationships. And why do they want us to stay? in a customs union, we won't be able to negotiate trade and Brexit will fail. It is a plan to thwart the will of the people and keep us in and we will not allow it to happen. We also have to remember that against us is the unelected commission. Not one of them overpaid portly bureaucrats in Brussels have ever stood for election for the office they hold yet they are trying to dictate terms to this country and to its people, and we will not put up with it. Their attempts to break up our union by trying to manipulate politics in Northern Ireland is absolutely outrageous, and the British government should say to them, we will not put up with this and we will walk away, because you stand to lose more than we do, and that is a fact. <laughs> And I have to say, Brexit is by no means secure. The majority of our members of parliament were on the Remain side, and they still are. There are millionaires right now funding campaigns trying to overturn the poll that took place two years ago. They're well funded, they're well organised. And so I say to the people of Loughborough and to this part of England, Join organisations that are defending your vote, whether you voted to leave or whether you voted to remain. The question now is the preservation and the protection of our democracy. Will you make sure the vote stands? Do you promise to make sure we leave the European Union? Because what are they doing? They've destroyed Greece. Greece is now a basket case. Millions of unemployed, public services privatised and the country reduced to a serf state. Unemployment in Spain. The euro is a disaster. The migrant crisis has been mishandled and they've not had their accounts signed off for decades. Would you join this club if you were outside? No. Would you join? You wouldn't, would you? No. So this idea that our country the fifth largest economy in the world, can't make it on its own, is utter claptrap. We've got friends round the world. We've got one of the biggest defence budgets in the world. Allies on every continent. We've got the greatest universities. The English language is spoken all over. And they're telling us we can't cope. Utter nonsense. One big betrayal that we are witnessing, though, is the betrayal of the fishing industry. Many ministers in this government, and I'm not seeking to make a political point here because there are members on all sides that have failed to stand up for the fishing industry. They are suggesting that in, under a transition period, EU fishermen will still have access to British waters. 
If you go round the coast of this country, port towns from the top of Scotland down to the Kent coast where I'm from are empty. They're completely wasted. Unemployment is high, antisocial behaviour is high and no one's doing anything about it. The fishermen in this campaign stood up to Bob Geldof on his yacht in the Thames and they said they wanted control of their fishing waters. We have to make sure it happens, bringing back jobs to this country that have been taken by Brussels. Article 50 has been invoked and we are set to leave next year. But we have got to make sure this isn't a fudge and that when we say we leave, we are actually leaving. The Lords as well, they're unelected noble lords trying to thwart the will of the people. They have no right to tell us what we can and cannot do. They are just as bad as the unelected commissioners in Brussels. And I say, let's get rid of them. Yay! Why do we need a load of sleepy old lords paid for by us, telling us our vote doesn't matter? The only vote that mattered was on June the 23rd. They are an irrelevance to our constitution and to our country. Let's consign them to history. Yay. One final point I'll finish on. Here you see signs saying no open borders. And it's absolutely right, we should control our borders. But you know, the biggest story that was untold in the referendum is that our current arrangement with the European Union is a racist one. What do we have? We have free movement for the most privileged, most wealthy, most developed part of the world, Europe. We don't allow free movement to America. We don't allow free movement to Australia. We don't allow free movement to the Commonwealth and parts of Africa. But we allow free movement to white, privileged Europe. Well, as an internationalist, and as a socialist, and as a Democrat, I totally and utterly reject that neo-colonial model and I want us to be embraced and open to the world. We've taken back control, let's go global and leave the European Union. Yeah.